right now. Good evening to you. I'm Rick Van Hoos. I'm Vicki Dorch. It was a devastating day as dozens lost their homes and a chaotic one as firefighters battled two separate fires separated only by an hour and a few miles. And by the time those flames were out, four people had been taken to the hospital and many more were left homeless. WLKY's Lauren Adams joins us now live tonight from the Wildwood Condominiums in Fern Creek where firefighters began their day. Lauren? Yeah, hi, Rick. It was here that several people and pets were rescued, all with the clock ticking, because just a short time later, the roof would collapse. Now, as you can see here behind me, the building tonight is being considered a total loss. And just down the road at that second apartment fire, things there aren't looking much better tonight. Behind this cloud of smoke, there is a wall of fire and a sense of panic. It's just after 11 Wednesday morning when firefighters respond to a fire on the first floor of Wildwood Condominium. All I saw were flames coming out of the building and people were yelling. Two residents will be rescued along with pets. Terry Wright had tried to stop the fire. It was his neighbor, a special needs man that was cooking when fire rages out of control. The time I hit the door, it smoked and rolled out. I couldn't, I couldn't do it there and I tried to put it out. Four people are rushed to the hospital. The fire is just under control when these very firefighters receive a second call less than two miles away. A second fire again on the first floor, possibly in the kitchen. This time at the park at Hurstbourne Apartments. It's just before 12:30. Where the ladder is on the front, going to the second floor. That's where Taylor Myrick is sleeping when she wakes up to the smell of smoke. She's able to get out of the apartment, but is forced to leave without her cat. Moments later, a tearful reunion as Myrick and Calu are reunited. I know my favorite cat, so luckily they got him out. I just, just dropped my purse and I just like collapsed. That's Tracy Meredith's reaction when she rushes home and sees her two dogs are safe too. I was a mess, crying, screaming all the way here because that's all I could think of was my dogs. The other stuff's replaceable. Twelve units are damaged by fire and water, but no one will be injured. Heather Heath lives so close her apartment receives smoke damage, but Knowing what's happened just down the road and just next door, she considers herself lucky. It could have been us. So it's, it's a sense of relief and a sense of compassion, I guess, for the others that did lose everything. Now, four people, Rick, Vicki, as you just heard, were taken from this scene and transported to the hospital where they were treated for smoke inhalation. One person, I can tell you, was suffering from second degree burns. Tonight, we do not have an update on their condition. Meanwhile, the man that was cooking, the man firefighters say unintentionally set this fire. Neighbors tell me he shook up, but otherwise doing okay. We're reporting live tonight in Fern Creek. Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. Now, most of the residents at the Wildwood condominiums told WLKY that they were spending tonight with family. Those living at the apartments on Oxford Place have moved into vacant apartments.